Good evening. evening. Welcome to the Church of the Ascension on this, the Solemnity of Pentecost, the Roman Catholic Church's founding day. My name is Arlene Rowland, and thank you for celebrating the sacrifice of Mass with us today. The Mass intentions for this liturgy is for the deceased Marianne de Luca. Today's Mass is being streamed live. We are united both in person and with our online family. We ask that those present with us today to please kindly silence your cell phones. Please join us this Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. The Justice and Peace Committee is offering Forum on Food Insecurity with guest speaker Kathy Davis from the Food Bank of Southeastern Virginia. Attend in person or watch live stream from our Facebook page. Vacation Bible School registration is now open. Two sessions are available to choose from. Please register using the QR code on the screen in the comments or visit our website. Open, it is open from, uh, to children from age four to fourth grade. Space is limited. And now we would like to hear a few words for, regarding the capital campaign from Ken Levins. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Ken Levins, and I've been blessed with the opportunity to invite each of you to join your fellow Church of the Ascension parishioners in participating into the Growing Into Our Future capital fundraising campaign. Our goal is to raise $1.5 million through a five-year pledge campaign in order to fund the construction of a new parish office and establish a parish fund that will serve and sustain our parish now and well into the future. This is a lofty goal. We are praying for the continued generosity for which our COA family is well known in order to achieve it. To date, more than $718,000 has been pledged or donated by 58 families and our Knights of Columbus Council. But we need everyone. We need every member of the Church of Ascension family to participate and contribute if we are to transform this plan into a reality. Every dollar that we raise as part of this campaign will stay here at Ascension for Ascension. What better way to celebrate our upcoming 50th anniversary than to join us in creating the legacy that will take us into our next 50 years. If you haven't already, as you leave Mass today, we ask that you stop by the tables in the Commons to receive your Growing Into Our Future campaign information packet. Enclosed, you'll find a letter from Father Daniel, an informational brochure and frequently asked question sheet, your own copy of our campaign prayer, and a pledge card which we hope that you will prayerfully consider completing and returning with your promised support of this worthy effort. You are all invited to a very short presentation of the details of the Growing Into Our Future campaign in the ACC immediately following Mass. We hope that you will take the time to learn more about the campaign and ask any questions that you may have. Thank you. Please rise for our procession hymn. Oh, 
Good evening. Good evening, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, today we celebrate the Feast of the Pentecost, which reminds us 50 days after Easter, when the Holy Spirit dwells in our lives and came for the first time to the apostles. Today, our message is this. We have now begun our Pentecostal vigil. After the example of the apostles and the disciples, who with Mary, the mother of Jesus, persevered in prayer, awaiting the spirit promised by the Lord. Like them, let us too listen with quiet hearts to the word of God today. Let us continue to meditate on how many great deeds God in times past did for his people. And let us pray that the Holy Spirit, whom the Father sent as the first fruits for those who believe, may bring to perfection his work in the world. Coming together as God's family, let us continue to thank God for the gift of faith. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father, glory, glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory. Glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of good will. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the splendor of your glory may shine forth upon us, and that by the bright rays of the Holy Spirit, the light of your light may confirm the hearts of those born again by your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews and from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all of these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya, Libya and Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As the body is one through its, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, 
so also is Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Spirit of God, fill our hearts, fill our hearts with the fire of your love. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord, On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Dear friends, 50 days after Easter, we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost, which commemorates the coming of the Holy Spirit. Today's readings focus on the role of the Spirit in sustaining the community after Jesus' death and the resurrection, reminding us how the Spirit continues to empower believers today. Today's readings remind us that Pentecost is an event of both the past and the present. The main theme of today's readings is that the gift of the Holy Spirit is something to be shared with others. In other words, the readings remind us that the gift of the Holy Spirit moves its recipients to, to action and inspires them to share this gift with others. As we celebrate the birth of the missionary church, we pray that each of us will be refreshed and renewed by the Holy Spirit. May we do what Pope Francis asks of each of us, Go out again and again without hesitation, without fear, and proclaim this joy which is for all people. As we celebrate this year's Pentecost, we must ask ourselves these two questions. What does the Holy Spirit want us to do? And where is he leading us? Reflecting over these important questions, and many more, is very important, especially now that our world has become so complex that one hardly understands what is happening. It is said to note that families, societies, communities, states, and the world, in spite of being referred as global village, are drifting apart, thus becoming more complex than ever. 
In a world filled with much complexities and confusions, only the Holy Spirit can restore order, calm our fear. He alone can empower us to face the challenge of our lives, families, communities, and world. He alone can give us the right insight needed to navigate through the complex situations of our daily life. In view of this, we must pause and listen to what the Holy Spirit has to say to us and what direction he wishes to lead us. We must ask him this Pentecost, show us a new direction. Today, I want to show you the peace Paul, which we have every day. I've been here for eight years. It is there in the commons, and I didn't know why it is there and who has started that one until this week I asked Marie to share with me what is the message of that peace Paul. A peace paw is an international recognized symbol of the hopes and dreams of the entire human family, standing vigil in a silent prayer for peace on earth. Ascension's peace paw displays the message, may peace prevail on earth in eight languages and braille, English, Tagalog, Swahili, Arabic, Spanish, Lakota, Hebrew, and Irish. The Peace Paul Project is a grassroots movement committed to the awakening of consciousness by planting the message of peace in the hearts and minds of our global family organized at the United Nations. Ascension Parish dedicated our Peace Paul about 11 years ago, here in this sanctuary, during a beautiful program, we had 1,000 folded paper, crafted peace cranes, numerous speakers, videos, and ending with singing, let there be peace on earth. Along with our Easter candle, decorated with ribbons, bells, and bubbles, Dear friends, why I have brought this uh, peace Paul in front of you? Just to share with you what is happening in the Middle East. What is happening in the Middle East is a working call, wake up call for all of us. If we really want to have peace, we have to listen to the power of the Holy Spirit. We have to listen to what the Holy Spirit guides us. We know differences will come. Our culture differences will come, and even the nations between the nations will come. But if we don't listen from the power of the Holy Spirit, this world will not be a better place for all of us. You can see what it has happened just for 11 days, the destructions and the killing, the death of the people. But now they are talking that it will take years to rebuild what it has happened. What does it mean to us? Dear friends, the Holy Spirit is the source of our lives. He's always with us, and he guides us to do what we are supposed to do. As he managed to do to the first apostle, to the first church, he's always with us, even today. We, as Ascension people, Ascension family, as we continue to celebrate today the Feast of the Pentecost, do we really allow the Holy Spirit to guide us, to bring us to peace, to unity? Do we really recognize that we are sons and daughters of God? And do we also 
put all the differences apart together and brings us unity and love to one another. Our message today is that the Holy Spirit is the source of our lives. Let us be united together to proclaim the good news, the good news of peace and the good news of love. And where two or three are gathered in my name, the Holy Spirit is always there. Amen. Amen. Please stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Christ called us to be one spirit, one church. With spirit-filled faith, we offer the prayers of our hearts. We pray for our Holy Father, Francis, all bishops and clergy. Renew in them the power of your spirit as they preach the gospel to all nations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters in Israel and Palestine, to work toward reconcil reconciliation and communication for completing and sustaining peace in the Holy Land. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us to find the generous spirit within ourselves and share in the many treasures that the Lord has bestowed upon us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That each of us may fully develop his or her responses to the gifts of the Spirit bestowed for the service as the body of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the children of our parish, making their first communion this weekend at a special Mass, may we rejoice in their fully knowing Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus, we ask for your comfort over all those in need of prayer. Bring them comfort and healing especially Armando Placidus, those who have been affected by COVID, those cr chronically ill in our bulletin, and those whose names we mention aloud. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have died. May they, may they be in eternal rest, especially Gilbert Carreras. Mary, and for the weekend's Mass intentions, Mary Ann DeLuca, Laura Ann Hardwood, Father Jim Park, Fidelis Oligario, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now let us all recite together the prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Come Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, and guide us throughout the Diocese of Richmond as, as we embark on our third century in your service. service. We humbly ask you to strengthen our trust in you, our eagerness to share the gospel message with others, and kindle in us a keen desire to grow in our relationship with you and to encounter you in your sacraments. Through the intercession of Mary, star of the new evangelization, and St. Vincent de Paul, may we experience a new Pentecost and a profound renewal of faith in our diocese our, our parishes, parishes, our families, and our hearts.
Let us pray. Father of the Spirit who dwells within us, graciously hear our prayers offered in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Due to COVID protocol, donation baskets are located by the doors as you exit the sanctuary. Thank you for your continued financial support. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will come for us, the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will come our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Pour out upon these gifts, we, gifts the blessing of your spirit, we pray, O Lord, so that through them your church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth for the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true and right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father Almighty, and eternal God for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in a profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land and every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the, and all you have created rightfully gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. 
Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence will lie for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and bear our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember your servant Mary Ann de Luca, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and o honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. And we ask if you're watching this live stream, please put a note in the chat box. Peace, peace, peace Father. Father. Thank you so much. Peace, Roman. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to this sup of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Hear the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Share the supper of the Lord. This is the bread of God coming down from heaven, giving life to us, to all. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Hear the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Share the supper of the Lord. I am the living spring of eternal life. You that drink from me shall not thirst. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Hear the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Hear the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured.
thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. May these gifts we have consumed benefit us, O Lord, that we may always be aflame with the same Spirit whom you wondrously poured out on your apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Um, I would like to just remind everyone of the uh, lecture announcement earlier on. About Tuesday evening at 7, uh, Social Justice Ministry is hosting uh, a forum where they're talking about food insecurity. And so uh, that's 7 p.m. You can come here personally, or you can watch it via uh, live stream as well. Um, so that is a big issue in our country right now. So we certainly hope that you will participate one way or the other with that. Uh, are there any visitors with us this evening? If there are, would you just raise your hand or stand up so we can welcome you? Okay, anybody new back for the first time from uh, COVID? Okay, well, we're glad that you're all here anyway. Uh, the other thing is, uh, late this week, we got uh, new guidance from the diocese, and uh, it's a major change in lifting the restrictions. And so next week when you come, it will be very different than what you see this evening, um, because some of the place is going to be such that uh, you don't have to wear a mask, you don't have to social distance, uh, but in the same way, we need to accommodate those people who want to continue to socially distance, who are uh, not vaccinated and um, whatever. So uh, early next week, uh, the staff is gonna get together and huddle with Father, and we're gonna talk about it. So. Um, you know, it could very well be next week when you get here, this side will be socially distanced, we'll have more rows and narrower rows and just one pew, one chair apart. Um, but anyway, it will certainly help us so that we can accommodate more people and uh, get you back a little bit more normal. So we're really excited about that. <laughs> but we do want to thank you for your cooperation. We know that all of you, Pardon? Oh, blood drive tomorrow. Not only do we ask you for your time, talent, and treasure, we ask you for your blood. So that's tomorrow. Um, but, you know, we just want to thank you for your cooperation on continuing to wear masks the last couple of weeks, even though the governor said we don't have to do that anymore. Uh, as I mentioned last week, we are in a very hierarchical organization, and we wait for the changes to come down to us. They have now come down. So uh, we will do some uh, changing around. And you can watch, it's gonna be tweaked, because I mean, if all of a sudden we have very few people who are socially distanced, we'll have a smaller area for them uh, or whatever. So kind of just stay with us for the next couple weeks or so. Thank you. Do you have anything, Father? No, just sir. I want just to say thank you for your participation and also for your prayers, because uh, the Holy Spirit does a lot to our community, to our parish. And as we are preparing to celebrate the 50th anniversary, this celebration today, let us also <clears throat> earmark for us as we begin to prepare ourselves to let the Holy Spirit guide us and gives us strength. And I want you to continue to pray for justice and peace, for what is going on in the Middle East. Let the Holy Spirit guide all of us so that this world, let us be really a welcoming world for all of us and enjoy peace for all of us. Because when there is no peace in this world, no one will say is safe. So let us make sure we fight for peace and we continue to promote for peace and bring peace, not only for ourselves, but even for those people around ourselves. Amen. 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 Please stand. After each prayer, the response is, Amen. May God, the Father of light, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Palak, Paracrete, grant you gladness by his blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same spirit. 
Amen. May the wondrous of flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith, and by believing, may you journey for hope to clear vision. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The celebration has ended. We go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.